Mga ka-RSP, paniguradong meron kayong kakilala na tinuturing ninyong inspiring dahil sa kanyang mga nagawa o ambag sa lipunan. Ngayong umaga, may ipapakilala rin kami isang Filipino-Canadian na kapupulutan ng aral at inspirasyon. Ang dating pizza delivery boy, ngayon CEO na ng sarili niyang financial consulting agency sa Canada. Huwag na natin patagalin pa. Narito si Mr. Frederick Montilla, Rise and Shine, sir. Rise and shine sa lahat dyan sa Pilipinas. Good morning from right. Canada. Good morning. Si Phoebe po ito. Uh, kwentuhan niyo naman po kami kung paano po ang buhay ninyo bago kayo pumunta sa Canada. Um, yung buhay namin sa Canada, like anything else, um, mm -hmm. my mom and dad actually immigrated to Canada when I was uh, 10 years old. So, um, really student lang ako eh. Um, I left the Philippines when I was grade 6. So yeah, nag ako sa Philippine Normal College at the time. It used to be Philippine Normal College ngayon, Philippine Normal University na. Alright, ayun din po sa isang online article, no? Hindi daw po kayo nakapagtapos ng high school. Al, nagtrabaho po kayo bilang isang pizza mm -hmm. delivery guy, no? So pwede niyo po ba kami kwento? Or kwento niyo po sa amin yung experience ito and... Ano rin siguro po yung napulot or natutunan natin dito? Yeah, um, hindi ako nakatapos ng high school, nakatapak ng college or university. At that time, I was just delivering pizza for Domino's Pizza. And in a, I would call it a divine appointment where I ended up uh, delivering a pizza with this uh, very wealthy man. His name is Jack Rothenberg. And he happened to be um, a president and CEO of his wealth financial firm. Um, so I asked him a question kung how can I do what he does para maging successful sa buhay. Uh, at that time, sinabi niya, why don't you just start uh, to become a mutual fund salesman? And uh, that was about 2001. And then I started my career uh, as a mutual fund salesman sa isang company called Investors Group. So, I understand that was a turning point ng iyong buhay, no? And dahil dun, eh, syempre, sunod-sunod na. Yung naging, sunod-sunod na yung mga naging uh, saya ng buhay mo. Pero masasabi mo ba na ito ay swerte ba? O ano, um, talaga maswerte ka talaga? Or it's a matter of sipag at syaga din? Um, actually, that's a good question. You know? I, I truly believe that um, there's no such thing as luck whether you're in the Philippines or nasa Canada ka. Basta talagang masipag ka and then you believe in your dreams. I, I don't believe luck has anything to do with it. No, um, You just really have to uh, believe uh, in your dreams and then you just push forward all the way through. Alright, sa inyong pananaw, Sir Frederick, uh, sa experience mo na rin sa isang consulting agency, no? Ito, pag-usapan din natin, paano po nagkakaiba yung pag-manage sa finances ng may kaya o mayaman at saka ng medyo ikahos, no? Ano pa yung lesson na dapat matutuwan dito? Well, simulan natin sa discipline, no? Simulan natin sa disiplina. Mm -hmm. um, whenever you're dealing with uh, people that have money or wealth, um, the way they deal with money is uh, totally different than a, an average um, person. Um, ang ginagawa talaga nila in the beginning of, uh, ano, pag may pera sila, they save most of it and then spend the rest of it. If you look at the average uh, families, ang ginagawa nila, they spend first and then after they save what is left. So yun yung fundamental difference between the two of them. So if you really wanted to be ahead in life, whether in your finances, it all boils down sa disiplina. Um, disiplina sa pag-save ng pera mo, disiplina sa pag-gastos, lalo na ngayon magpapasko, uh -oh. no? Um, ingat po tayo sa credit cards kasi hindi magugulat ka na lang sa January. So, we just wanna make sure na kontrolado yan. Alright, panghuli na lamang, ano na lang yung mapapayo mo sa ating kapwa Pilipino na syempre nangangarap na umangat sa buhay at maging successful sa anumang larangan na gusto nilang tahakin? Um, siguro ang, ang payo ko lang sa mga kababayan natin ano, um, is <coughs> onwards and upwards. Keep on pushing forward. No? Um, 
possible na wala ka sa sitwasyon na you wanted to be in today. Pero just because you're not where you wanted to be, doesn't really mean you're not at the perfect place. So, minsan kasi, um, you are exactly where you need to be para may prepare ka for a bigger picture. So, ang payo ko lang talaga is keep on pushing through kahit na wala ka pa sa gusto mong marating, keep on pushing forward and just continue believing in yourself. And of course, have God as the center of your life and God will show you great and mighty things. All right. Thank you so much. Napaka-nakapanayan po natin ngayon si Mr. Frederick Montilla, live all the way from Canada. Maraming salamat po sir at mabuhay po kayo. Salamat. Thank you.